And so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It's a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the son of former slaves and the son of former slave owners will be to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even in the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but a content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama, with all the races, with the governor having his lips dripping with the words and a position and notification, one day that there in Alabama, the little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with the little white boys and little white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted and every hill and mountain top shall be low and rough places and will be made plain and the quick places will be made straight and the glory to the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall say together. This is our hope and this is faith that I'll go back to the south with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out the mountains and the spire of stone of hope. With this faith, we shall be able to transform the jingling discards of our nation into a beautiful sympathy of brotherhood. With this faith, we should be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. And this will be the day. This will be the day when all God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be great a nation, this must become true. And so let freedom ring from the hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from the stone mountains of Georgia. Let freedom ring from the lockout mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring of every hill and molehill of Mississippi. And let freedom ring from the mountainside. Let freedom ring. And when this happens, and when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state to every city, we will be able to speed up the day when all God's children, black men, white men, Jewish, Protestants, Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we're free at last.